Hello everybody. Welcome to the Martial Arts of Sales. I hope everyone's doing great. It's a Sunday afternoon and I'm just prepping and getting ready for a week from today, Sunday, February 23rd. I'm doing my first workshop seminar here in El Paso, Texas. I hope you guys join me. It's going to be three topics combined into one. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal, especially if you're a young entrepreneur, salesperson, and a small business owner. This topic is going to be for you. All you have to do is go to my YouTube Instagram or Facebook at the Paul Cruz Show. I'm going to be live streaming and I hope you join me. Today, I have an incredible topic that I want to share with you guys. I've been thinking about it for about a month. And it's absolutely one of the most important topics for salespeople. It's how to use the seven most powerful steps to building a solid sales foundation. Let's go to the intro. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Martial Arts of Sales. I'm excited today. Are you excited? Let me tell you why I'm excited. Besides loving what I do, a week from today, I have my first workshop seminar here in El Paso, Texas. I'm nervous, excited, because it's been a while since I spoke or will be speaking in front of a lot of people. It's actually next Sunday, February 23rd. I do invite you. I'm going to be live streaming Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at the Paul Cruz Show. This is next Sunday, February 23rd, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to having you part of it. It's gonna be exciting, and if you apply what I'll teach, it's gonna help your business. Now, for the topic for today, how to use seven powerful techniques in building a strong sales foundation. Without a foundation, you can't build anything. A house, a commercial building, a relationship. Everything has to be built on a strong foundation. Sales is no different. Now, the first thing that you have to do is, and what I teach my salespeople and even my clients, is the right mindset. It all starts with the mindset. What you're allowed to come into your mind is gonna create a thought, and that thought is gonna create an action, right? It's sales, it's a mindset. Selling is a mindset. You gotta to love to sell. You gotta to want to sell. Why is selling important? Because it's being done all day long. But more importantly, selling to me is solving a problem or a need or a want. So you gotta have the right mindset for that. Number two is the right attitude. Why is attitude important? Because attitude is contagious. Is your attitude worth catching? Have you ever been around somebody that's arrogant? That's a bad attitude. Or somebody who has a, a, a negative attitude, right? You don't want to be around any of that. But more importantly, closing a deal, closing and solving a problem is an attitude. So the mindset is the thought. The attitude is the action. One goes with the other. Does that make sense? So ask yourself, how is my mindset in selling? How is my attitude? Think about this. Getting rejection, let's say you do 10 great sales presentations or pitches, whether it's on the phone or face-to-face, -face, it doesn't matter. And nobody buys. Is it something wrong that you did? Maybe you did everything great. They just won't buy it. The attitude is you got to keep moving forward and call more people and build a pipeline. That's an attitude. Does that make sense? Number three is daily training equals performance. The way you train is the way you're gonna perform. 
The way you train your mind is going to create an attitude. Your attitude is going to create your actions. So the way you train in sales, you're going to perform the same way you train. I'll give you an example. If you look at the greatest athletes in the world, Kobe Bryant, uh, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Tom Brady, all these top athletes, they have a daily training regime or routine. I'll give you an example for myself. I used to be a marathon runner. I was training for the Olympics at a young age. I was the youngest finisher ever at New York City Marathon in 1984. I ran 150 miles a week for one year. Twice a day. 30 miles once a month. Because I had to train for the event. The event was easier than the training. Because you got to be disciplined every day and train and train and train. But if you love what you do, you're going to have the right mindset. You're going to have the right attitude. So your daily training becomes more effective. Are you doing the right daily training for your sales? If not, do something about it. Number four. Sales techniques. Sales techniques or the right sales technique gives you creative value. There's different types of techniques you can use. And none of it has to do with lying or embellishing. Why you ask a certain question at a certain time? Why are you listening more? Do you understand their problems and their needs and their wants? Because people buy one or two ways. They either need something or they want something. You got to have the right sales techniques. But that all stems from right mindset, right attitude, daily training. And you want to create more value as a salesperson. Number five. Everybody, most people hate this. Cold calling. I never talk so much about cold calling like I have recently. There's so much opportunity to cold call right now. Cold call is not dead. Sorry to disappoint you. It's alive and kicking. It's hot. Better than ever. So much opportunity. Question is, are you willing to learn it the right way? Cold calling is the fabric, or what I call the bloodline of a salesman. I've been cold calling for 30 years, and I still have the passion and the love for it. I just got off the phone with somebody about 30 minutes ago that I met on Twitter last night. And we were chatting. He got a hold of me. He liked my YouTube channel. He liked it. He wanted to meet me. Local guy. We're going to do business. But it's all because of cold corn. It's all because of attitudes. It's all because of mindsets. It's all because of techniques. It's all because of daily training. Cold calling helps you develop a strong perceived value. Because we all have a perception of each other. Cold calling establishes that strong foundation. You get to learn to take a punch or two or three. Makes you skin tough. I love it. I love cold calling. Number six, storytelling. Has anyone ever told you, I don't want to hear a story? Here's my response to it. You don't want to hear a story? I'll tell you what. Don't go to the movies. Don't watch any movies on your phone or don't watch any videos. Don't listen to any music. Don't listen to the radio. Don't listen to anything. Don't even talk. Why? Because the minute we're talking, we're selling, we're telling a story. How you tell the story is a different thing. But we all tell stories. Storytelling is a part of life. It's where the value is. It's where you're going to increase your value. There's a lot to storytelling. I had a client two months ago who told me, but I don't want to hear a story. I said, okay, I'm going to give you the facts. I'll never forget his name, John Warner. I gave him the facts. At the end of the call, he said, but you know, you're good. I said, what are you talking about? You, you told me a story. I said, I told you. I'm giving you the facts in a story format. We're all telling stories. I just happen to know I am. And the top salespeople in the world, the top business people in the world, the top athletes in the world, they're phenomenal storytellers. They get you to do things you may never thought you would do, right? Storytelling brings out the needs and the wants of the individual. But there's a lot to it. 
Learn it. Embrace it. Become good at it. That's where the money's at. Number seven. I say this for last. Follow up calls. Follow up calls is when 90% in my experience, a lot of deals get lost. Why? Because they had a good initial call, but they didn't solidify the, the close at the end. The person on the other side of the phone, the other, the other part, wasn't really, they didn't really buy into it. They didn't really want to own it. So they got buyer's remorse. Follow up calls is very important. Because if you do it right, and you prepare yourself and you don't take it for granted, you're going to create really good win-win situations. If not, here's what's going to happen. More deals are lost or go wrong during the follow-up call. Because you gave it everything you had. You're all excited about the first call. You took for granted the second call. Cannot do that. Does that make sense? So, I hope this has been helpful. And as I said again, if you're watching me on YouTube, if you like this video, smash the like button. Do subscribe and share the video with others. And to remind you, next week, Sunday, February 23rd, 2020, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm doing my workshop uh, seminar here in El Paso, Texas. I'm inviting you to the live streaming on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I want to thank you again for being part of the the martial arts of sales. I hope this has truly been helpful to you. And just to recap, number one is the mindset. Number two is the attitude. Number three is the daily training. Number four is sales technique. Number five is cold calling. Number six is storytelling. And number seven is follow up calls. Till we speak again, have a great day. Bye for now.